Hi, I'm Marcus Lilly, founder of Headliner Magic. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to replace a headliner in any vehicle. Here are some of the tools that you will need to complete this task. We have a variable speed grinder. At the bottom of this, we have a wire brush head. This will actually be used to eliminate all the dirty foam off of a board. If you don't have this, this tool, then you also can come in and use a wire brush. Take a little longer, but it'll still get the job done. Here's our high temp adhesive. This is what we'll use to bond the headliner to the board. Then we have some razor blades, which are single edge razor blades that you can use to cut all the accessory holes and trim the headliner to the board. What you also see here is a variety of different style headliners that we uh, sell on our website, headlinermagic.com. And uh, this is a beautiful suede. We have a camo. We also have a perforated vinyl. And then we have our OEM regular headliner. In beginning your process, you want to be able to measure your board to ensure that you're going to get the proper headliner material length. In doing so, you want to begin by measuring from the edge of the board to the end of the board. You can see here we have 64 inches in this headliner board. And for the width, we're looking at 46 inches in this board. So a proper headliner for this board will be two yards, which is 72 inches long by 60 inches wide. Now that you have your headliner material ordered, let's start the process of cleaning the board. We're gonna begin by removing this old headliner, as you see here. Now that we've removed this old headliner, we wanna show you the process of cleaning the board with the manual brush. So now I'm gonna show you a quick way of getting this job done with the electric tool with a wire brush head. Once you've grinded all the old dead foam off, next you're gonna to have to get rid of this debris. You can use a rag to remove all the rest of this old debris, or you can also use a brush. But since we're at the shop, we're gonna use the air hose today. So now we're gonna spread this headliner over the board to ensure that we have the proper length. So one of the things that we do is we make sure that you have extra length that can be trimmed later. In our next process, we're gonna fold the headliner back halfway so that way we can start our gluing process. Now we take our high temp spray adhesive and begin our process of mounting the headliner to the board. And we're gonna do a small spot so we can ensure that the headliner is locked in place. What you want to do is gently smooth this out and you can use your hand or you can use a rag. Now that we got the headliner glued in place here, we want to go ahead and fold the headliner back again and, and repeat our process in a more larger area. Now that we've completed this side, we're getting ready to do the second half. 
I'm also gonna show you this indentation area because it's very crucial that you learn this part. This crucial area right here that we're showing you, what you wanna be able to do is hold the material up without letting it touch the edge and place it into the deep crevice. Then you lay over the rest. on a magic app.